Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have done a full face of makeup that I've never tried before. And I don't normally stray away from my products that are like my products that I love, but this has literally opened my eyes. Some of these products I'm obsessed with. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So the first product that I've got to use is this Cordially Purifying Toner. It looks really like luxurious. I really like these products. I've got two, I've got my next product is Cordially as well. And they both just look really expensive. I mean, they are a bit of the higher end skincare, but I'm excited to try this. I used a Cordially face mask. It was the first Cordially product I've ever used the other day. And it was incredible. My skin felt so soft after I used it. And I'm not even like a skincare girly. And I could tell that it had done something to my skin. So if that's saying something. I'm just going to put this on a cotton pad. And then just like wipe it all over my face. Oh my god it smells absolutely unreal. Oh my god. I don't even know what that smells like. It smells like a spa. It literally smells like I've stepped foot in like an expensive spa. I actually feel like this is doing something to my skin. I've used toners before and to be honest I actually don't really know what they do. But this feels like it's tightening kind of like my face feels tight. I like it and it smells just so good. Okay that has made my skin feel so nice and just like hydrated but not glowy. Just like hydrated and soft and smooth. I will definitely be using that again. So the next step is this Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting thing from Cordly. Again, it just looks so expensive. I feel like having it being like glass just like kind of makes all the difference. I really like this. So I think I just put this on my face. I'm just gonna do kind of this much. I'm looking for my face to be really, really nice and moisturized because we all know I love my face to literally feel wet when I'm doing my makeup. So hopefully these products that I've got are hydrating. Oh, again, this smells really good. It's a lot less intense than the other one. The toner actually had quite a strong scent. This is definitely more subtle. Also, if you see me like looking this way, it's because my mirror is there. So apologies for that. But again, this is really, really nice. It feels luxurious. It smells like a luxury product. I... I'm a big fan of these products. The real test would be to see what these products are like under makeup because I could use them as skincare. I really like them as skincare, but I want to use them as skin prep for my makeup. So fingers crossed. The last like moisturizer that I've got is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. And Charlotte Tilbury very kindly sent me lots of their products, which if you know about my setting spray addiction, you know, I couldn't believe they said they wanted to send me things. And this was one of them. So I always see loads of people using this, like water cream. So I thought I'd give this a go. I mean, again, this looks so luxurious. Just, oh, it's got a little pop-off thing. Nice, I'm gonna use the stuff from the lid. Oh, it's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. It's a really, really thick kind of moisturizer feeling. I thought, cause it's like a water cream that it would be quite thin, but no. Okay, this is really nice. The way it's just like melting into my skin. Can you see how glowy my skin is? Yeah, this is good. Okay, my skin is looking glowy and ready for the last step of the skin prep, which I'm actually really excited for. So if you've watched my videos, you know my normal skin prep is basically all glow recipe products. And I have this new pore blurring smooth Thing from Glow Recipe so I'm excited to try this I'm actually a bit funny with like strawberry scented things and this is a strawberry scented thing sometimes I think they can smell really artificial and cheap so I'm hoping that's oh hoping that's not the case here it said to apply like a pea-sized amount I think so oh gosh it's quite thin it's a bit more than a pea-sized amount but make it work as for the smell I'm not offended by it it kind of just smells like strawberries I know that sounds so stupid but it's not giving cheap plastic smell it's kind of just smelling fresh okay so this is my skin after all the skin prep products i really like the way it looks i will say it's not quite as glowy as i normally have my skin it's not giving like wet it's just kind of giving glowy dewy however i do normally use like a mist i use really moisturizing products so i'm not actually mad like about the fact that it's not as glowy as i'm used to but my skin feels really soft it feels really 
moisturized and like ready for some makeup so i do have this flawless filter however it's in shade one which is like the lightest one and i don't know if i'm because i am fake tan right now i know you probably don't believe it but i'm fake tanned right now so i don't know if it will match i might just do a little swatch on my face but believe it or not i've never tried this before oh wait that's literally perfect okay do i just put this all over my face Okay, it says all over the face for a flawless filter or on top of foundation if you want some extra coverage. Okay, I'm going to do it underneath because the foundation that I've got is like soft matte and I'm normally obviously a dewy girl. So do I just... God, I feel so stupid right now. I never use new makeup products. This is really weird for me. So I'm going to give one criticism. Not much comes out like each pump unless I'm putting an absolute ton of makeup on my face um i feel like it takes quite a while to get the desired effect okay i'm then just going to buff that in with my foundation brush that i always use i'm using the same brushes and i'm going to do the same routine as normal to give all these products a fair test this is blending out so easily i really like this i mean i'll have a closer look once it's all blended in but so easy to blend out it's such like a simple Product. I mean so far these products have all been really nice this is giving glowy it's giving like shiny in a good way but yeah I really like this I don't know if it's done that much because my face was already glowy so I don't know whether I probably should have put it to the test more without a glowy base but it's definitely not made anything worse it has made it a bit dewier a bit kind of glowier but I'm not like blown away but again nice product okay moving on to foundation i have like a little sample of the pro filter soft matte long wear foundation from fenty now i shade matched online so let's not expect the perfect shade match i can just blend down my neck if it's a bit dark okay it looks like it'll be a bit dark but this is obviously soft matte so i'm going to hold my criticism of the matteness because that's obviously not what the product's meant to do so it's gonna be weird seeing me with a matte face i'm not entirely sure how much i'm meant to put on but i feel like i'll just put like that and then a bit on my forehead i mean i can always add more actually this shade match right now looks pretty good okay again just going in with my usual foundation brush and just really lightly tapping that out okay i think that foundation shade is actually pretty good i will blend it down my neck just to have the perfect match but so far I actually really like this again this is really easy to blend it's not kind of stuck to my face i feel like matte foundations normally dry really quickly i don't know if that's like a incorrect assumption that i have but i thought i'd have to work really quickly with this but no i think i put a bit much on my forehead so i'm just going to take that down my neck excuse my voice <laughs> okay the foundation is all blended out i do like it however it's kind of looking a little bit cakey around the top of my face and kind of like on the sides which i don't normally experience with the foundation i use at a minute um that could be because my foundation is dewy and this is like matte so it's a bit thicker maybe but apart from that i really like the way this is sitting on my face i think it looks really nice i'm actually not mad about the kind of matteness of it it's definitely a soft matte my face doesn't look like completely matte but it's not giving dewy but again as i said that's not what it's claiming to do so yeah it is definitely more dry than i'm used to i feel like my face kind of feels like it's screaming out for some moisture if i'm going to be honest so for concealer i have this l'oreal infallible 24 hour concealer also can i just say who is wearing their makeup for 24 hours because that's not good for you like i guess maybe they just know that it can do that but like people wouldn't do that but also like my hairspray that i've got again actually can i just say quickly this is a really nice applicator i like the fact that it's really big it makes it so much easier so much quicker to like put it on and also i really like this shade really good shade match from me but yeah, my hairspray that I have is like got to be glued hairspray. It has like 72 hour hold. Like who is wearing their hair done for 72 hours? Because I want to have a conversation with you to see like what's going on. I just had to run and go and wet my beauty blender because I forgot to do it. So this has been sat on my face for quite a while. 
and it's still really easy to blend out so that's a good test oh i really like this concealer again it's also like drugstore i just love drugstore products i think they are so good and like it's just so much more affordable obviously okay time to blend out my under eyes this is like the real test for me because i like kind of a medium to full coverage but also keeping the brightness there okay i really really like this concealer it's blended out so easily and it's i mean the shade match obviously is kind of just luck but the shade is so nice i like the way it brightens it's nice coverage looks kind of nice on the skin i really like this i might even swap out my current concealer for that concealer i love this so much it's literally perfect next up is cream bronzer like contour hello um and i have this kvd one it's been in my makeup bag for ages and i've just never used it i've swatched it but that's about it it's kvd light warm cream bronzer so i'm just gonna put a bit on it's quite watery actually i'm gonna put a bit on my cheek just like that and then blend it out quickly i'm gonna press really lightly with this just because i don't want to disturb the foundation underneath okay it's not really blending out very well oh no i spoke too soon it's actually quite nice i feel like it's kind of picking up my foundation now, i'm not gonna lie i don't know if you can see here it just looks a little bit patchy which i'm not going crazy about Okay, let's try it on the other cheek and then I'll try my forehead area. Just taking really light movements because again, I don't want to pick up any of the foundation underneath because if it's already gone a bit patchy here, I don't really want to encourage that. Okay, that's kind of blended out into nothing, but I might just leave it as it is because I don't love the way it's sitting on the cheek, but I will try my forehead for this. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit and then I'm just going to take really light motions again and just blend this into my forehead. I'm just going to leave my nose for now even though I normally cream contour it just because if it's gone patchy elsewhere I don't really want to make it patchy all around my face. So moving on to liquid blush. I have this play tint from Benefit. I think it's like another version of their Benetton and it's in like pink lemonade. I think it says, well, it says pink lemonade stained sorry pink lemonade tinted lip and cheek stain and it says like to do it really quickly i saw it somewhere earlier oh yeah dot on dot and blend onto cheeks quickly so i'm gonna do one cheek at a time just to make sure it doesn't like stick on my cheeks because i'm scared of that i don't really know how much to do i'm gonna start off with like three little things like that and then just blend that in with my blush brush oh nice color Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I think I might do a bit more. I'm just gonna focus it up here, just to create that kind of snatched look again. Okay, I really like that color. I think it just adds a bit more life back into my cheek. So I'm just gonna go in on the other, oh, that might need a bit much and just blend that out. If that was a bit much, I can just pet my nose. I actually think this is really easy to work with as well. I was worried that it was gonna dry down really quickly, but even this side's still kind of workable. So I feel like that warning, well, it wasn't a warning, but you know what I mean, is scary, but it's not real, if that makes sense. Now I'm actually really excited to try this one. This is the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder and we know I love my Huda Beauty setting powder. I think it's so good. It gives like flawless under eyes every time. But this is Pro Filter Instant Retouch setting powder in shade Lavender. And I think this has got like a bit of a purpley kind of tinge to it, which apparently brightens and things, which I really love. So I've got high hopes for this. I have a new beauty blender to set as well. It's a Real Techniques sponge and it's like meant for powder. I did put my powder in earlier. Um, this isn't a 100% first impression, however, I'm going to say it is. Okay, so I'm just blending out that concealer again, and do you know what? It's not even creased, like, it's the tiniest bit creased, but that is impressive. I'm just going to pick up this powder on my beauty blender and then just tap it off in my hand. 
just like this to get it all evenly dispersed into the beauty blender. This is actually like fluffy, this beauty blender as well, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Okay, I'm gonna really lightly press this into my under eyes. I hate this beauty blender. Like, there's literally no product coming off of it. I'm so confused. Right, let's try that again. No, I'm sorry, this beauty blender is actually awful. I need to go and get my other one. Okay, I'm back with my usual beauty blender. I'm just kinda like, what is this? I'm sorry, it looks awful. I'm just gonna brush what I can off and then redo it. I'm actually just gonna do the other side because I've got another powder I wanna try out. I don't wanna dry out my under eye. But that was this like beauty blend, like flawless under eye beauty blender. It also said it works better dry, so I didn't wet it. But it's so hard, like it doesn't mold to your face shape at all. So that's a zero out of 10 from me. Look how much easier that was with this beauty blender, I'm sorry. This is my old like crusty dusty one. However, in terms of the powder, it is most definitely brightening. Like, can you see how bright my under eyes look? I'm really impressed with like the brightening feature of it. I really, really like this. Moving on to powder products. I have this Hoola Secret Oasis Duo. However, the Hoola bronzer is so light. Like it's literally called Hoola Light. So I don't know if it's actually gonna do anything, but we can try. I'm just gonna take it on my big fluffy brush that I usually do bronzer with and just take it over my cheeks. Actually, I feel like it is bronzing up my face. It's really actually stuck to this side. I don't know if that's because there was more of the cream bronzer on that side, but it looks quite intense on this side, but looks actually really nice and kind of natural here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit round my forehead. Again, try not to disturb that cream bronzer. Oh, I've just remembered I'm forgetting something. I had this airbrush brightening flawless finish powder however i don't know whether to use it or not because i'm already kind of brightened enough but maybe i'll just try a little bit i think you take this on a beauty blender this is what it looks like inside it's really really white it's literally white powder so i feel like this definitely will do the brightening that it says it will i'm just gonna take it on my beauty blender and just go over my under eyes yeah it's definitely brightening i like this it probably isn't showing its full potential. Oh no, you can see that. Um, I was gonna say full potential because it's already got brightening powder underneath, but no, you can really see that that does brighten. I'm kind of taking it upsides my nose to contour my nose, like with brightening it, if that makes sense. My eyes look kind of crazy now. They look really brightened, but I guess that's the look that I was going for today with all my brightening powders. But I then have this, called like uh what's it called blush from laura mercier this is the mirror that i've been using this whole time but this is such a gorgeous shade i think it's in shade bellini yeah bellini it looks so expensive i mean the packaging looks so like luxurious oh ignore all the finger stains on it <laughs> but so far the packaging really nice i don't know how pigmented this will be so i'm just gonna take a little bit on my blur on my brush and just really lightly put that over my cheeks Oh, that's such a nice shade of blush. I love this. Yeah, I really, really like this. It's a really nice natural shade again. I am literally obsessed with this. It looks so nice. I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and just wipe away any potential excess powder because I guess I have done two brightening powders, which probably wasn't my smartest idea. So I don't have a new highlighter to try. And I've actually misplaced my one that I use all the time, but I have this Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss from Morphe. And I'm taking a bit of a gamble on this because I don't know if I'm meant to use it over powder. It doesn't actually say. It just says, apply this clear gloss on bare skin or over makeup for a fresh dewy look. And it literally looks like a lip gloss. So I'm not actually hoping too much of this. I might literally ruin my makeup base, but... We're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna put the tiniest bit on my cheek and then actually I might just put the tiniest bit on my hand and then blend it in with my normal highlighter brush.
Is it disturbing my makeup? That's the question. It's not. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. I am a big fan of this. I think it's so cute. I think on bare skin especially, actually not even especially, on literally your skin, it makes it look like it's dewy. I actually love this. Especially for a look like today that it's a matte foundation. This has been like a saviour. I might just put it on my forehead as well. I'm just going to put a bit kind of in the places that my forehead normally shines. Oh my god! This is a game changer guys. I love this. Literally so much. I'm actually in awe of this product. I keep just looking at my skin and thinking, oh my gosh, it now looks so dewy and so nice. The last base product I have is this Laura Mercier setting powder and it's actually almost breaking my heart that I'm about to use a setting spray that isn't Charlotte Tilbury, but I have to for the video. So this one, oh wow. The packaging is beautiful, I will say. It looks so nice. This claims to be an invisible hydrating setting spray, 16 hour wear, alcohol free, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna shake it to make sure there's not like anything coming out that's gonna ruin my makeup. But I think it says to kind of spray four to five. I swear I saw that earlier. Oh okay, no, one to three times. I'm gonna do four to five anyway, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I really don't like the sprayer on this. It comes out in really direct kind of lines. It's not a mist. I mean, it does say it's a spray. Don't like the sprayer, but so far, I don't mind the, the, like, the actual product. It smells a bit weird. It's not got, I mean, I think I'm just used to my scent of like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it doesn't have like a nice smell it just kind of smells like makeup kind of my biggest criticism would be the sprayer but it might just be like my one is a bit weird um but it felt like it was just like a water gun like spraying at me which isn't exactly the vibe i want when i'm doing my makeup i'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera because i don't have any new eyebrow products and you've probably seen me do my eyebrows one too many times so i'll be back i'm back eyebrows are done and it's time for eyeliner so again, this is the same as the cream bronzer I had. I've had this in my makeup bag for so long, but I've never actually used it. I just used the collection one that I have, but this is kind of like a pen tip liner, which I actually quite like the idea of because it's really thin. Like you can see how thin that like top bit is. So I feel like it's gonna be really easy and good for beginners. Sorry, this is actually the um, Morphe Make It Big black, Bold Black Eyeliner for reference. Okay, I need to concentrate. I'm just gonna do a really quick flick. That could have been the easiest my eyeliner has ever been. That was so quick. I actually can't believe how quick that was. That was probably about five seconds it took me to do that eyeliner. Now I need to replicate it on this eye, but I've got high hopes. Guys, if you are wanting an eyeliner, that is beginner friendly. This is so good. I mean, this one was a bit long, but that is user error. That was the quickest I've ever done my eyeliner in by a mile. So impressed with this eyeliner. I think this is so good. This will definitely be in my makeup bag for when I need a quick like eyeliner, you know? Okay, so last but not least, I have a new lip liner and I actually think I have used this in the past. Not this exact one, but I think I might have used the Pillow Talk Pillow Talk liner from Charlotte Tilbury before, but don't quote me on that, but I think I might have done. I'm just going to overline as normal, see how it kind of holds up, see how pigmented it is. That was literally probably, again, the quickest I've ever lined my lips in. This is so pigmented and like buttery and just so easy to like glide on your lips. I love this. I have this liquid lipstick from Milani and it's not really the shade I would normally go for. I think it's a bit more pink, but I am going to mix it with some concealer. So fingers crossed, I like this combo. Actually, do you know what? I take it back. It's actually a really nice colour. It's slightly kind of purpley, I think, but it's really easy to like glide over my lips. It is quite dark, but again, it's like it's autumn, like dark lips are kind of in. It's also matte, which I love. If you know me, you know I love a matte lip. It's just, in my opinion, better. 
I prefer, especially when you put your hair down. The last thing I want is my hair getting stuck in my lip gloss. No, but I'm just gonna take a little tiny dab of this concealer and just blend it out with my finger, hopefully to kind of just lighten up the center of my lips. Okay, I feel like I probably should have left it as it was because it's now a bit of like a weird purpley color. Do I look slightly dead is my question with this lip color. Maybe I will, I do have a gloss with me. I might put the gloss on just to kind of see if it brings any life back to these lips. Oh wait, my mistake, it's not a gloss, it's another Milani lip product. I might just put this on, it's a bit more pink, so maybe it'll bring some pink back. Okay, very pink. Um, very pink. Okay, and that is the final makeup look. I actually, really like it i'll go through quickly the bits that i really like and the bits that i won't be reusing but it looks pretty much the same as my normal makeup routine which is all i could ask for but really actually really happy with the way this has turned out i'm going to do a quick roundup kind of of the products that i would keep and use again and then the ones that i probably wouldn't ever like pick out to use but i'll just go through like the makeup routine and say whether i would use them again the two Cordly products, 100%. I'm going to try and actually use this twice a day, I think it says. Um, does it say twice a day? Yeah, morning and evening. Because I'm going to try and make like a bit of a skincare routine. Because even though I've not got acne prone skin and spots aren't an issue for me, I think I would actually quite like to have a skincare routine. I feel like it's quite girly, that kind of vibe. So I'm going to try and make one and these will definitely be in them. I love them. So next up we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I love this. I don't know if it's the perfect base for me for skin prep, but definitely for just like moisturiser without makeup because it didn't give me like the moisture, glowy, wet look. It kind of just was like moisturising. So I think skincare rather than skin prep for me. And then last but not least on the skin prep bits. I love these. I thought they were really good. I'm not going to lie. I don't really have that big pause to kind of see the blurring effect. However, it was nice and moisturizing. It was nice and glowy. I thought it, it sat well under my makeup. So I'd say yes, I would definitely use this one again. I've just hit myself in the face. So for the makeup bits, the foundation I would use again. It wouldn't be my go-to. I like the way it looks it's definitely more full coverage than the foundation i use at the minute but it's just kind of up here it did look a little bit cakey it has kind of settled into my face i will say but i prefer my foundation to this and my foundation is like seven pounds when this is a more like high-end product the concealer is an 100 percent yes i love this concealer so much will definitely be using and might even just put it in my makeup bag for whichever i grab first i would use on par if not better than the concealer I have at the minute. I've got absolutely no idea where I've put that cream bronzer but I won't be using that again. I didn't like it if I'm honest. I think it was a bit patchy. It didn't really work well with my makeup. However, it might work well with someone else's. I just didn't like it. Next up is the Benefit Blush. I love this. I think especially for like a no makeup makeup day, just to kind of dab on your cheeks and give that like blush look without having like heavy makeup on. But I love it even for like my makeup routine. I think my blush combo looks so nice. I think I probably might even replace the one I've got with this. Then for the powders, I really, really, really liked both of these. This was definitely, I mean, they were both definitely brightening. They both did what they said in the tin. I, yeah, I'm obsessed. I actually really liked this powder bronzer from Benefit. I think it actually did a pretty good job. I think my cheeks look nice and bronzed and it was really easy to work with. So yeah, like I'd like recommend that. This blush I love. It has actually kicked out my blush that I use at the minute, which also is really nice blush, but I just think this is just absolutely beautiful. It's like the perfect blush shade for me. I love the way it looks on my face. Yeah, love this so much. This is the Laura Mercier one in Bellini, just for reference. Then we have the Morphe thing. Obsessed with it, literally obsessed with it. I think it is so good. I think it's such a good idea. When I'm actually like filming this, I've got my like little viewfinder next to it. Every time I look at myself, all I can look at is my cheeks, like the glow on my cheeks. I think it looks incredible. Literally love this. And I think Morphe's quite affordable these days. So definitely try this. It's the, did I even say gloss pop eye and face gloss? Incredible. 
For the setting spray, this definitely won't be knocking off my Charlotte Tilbury from the top spot. I like the way it's made my skin look. It's definitely hydrating. It's doing what it says it will do. I hate the sprayer. I think it's awful, the spray. Um, it was just literally like a water gun, as I said earlier, in my face. It wasn't what I was after. I feel like I missed the vibe, but really like the actual product it's just the and the packaging is beautiful but it's just the actual like nozzle thing that i don't like i've also misplaced my eyeliner but the eyeliner was so good again from morphe i think if you're a beginner and you want to get into eyeliner i would 100 percent recommend getting that one it was so good so easy it's really pigmented i literally need to do like two swipes and it was done so definitely recommend that i love this liner it's so good it's really pigmented i think it's it's more expensive yes however i think having a good lip liner is so important because you know there's times where you're just like trying to carve out your lip shape and it's just not working and you want a good liner so i'd 100 percent recommend this one this one's in pillow talk love it and last but not least i actually really liked the formula of these milani ones they just weren't the right shade for me um but the formula i can't fault it it was really pigmented it was really nice it dried matte so if you're not a matte girl you won't like it but yeah really love this but yeah thank you so much for watching if you did make it this far i love you so much i literally cannot explain it i'm almost at 100,000 subscribers saying that out loud sounds like i've made a mistake it's unreal i literally can't thank you enough but yeah if you did like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one love you